In order to tackle the problem of preventing or treating cancer in people living with HIV, I think we really need to think outside of the box. People living with HIV infection are at increased risk of cancer for several reasons. One is, as they live longer, they're more susceptible to diseases that are typically associated with aging, such as cancer. Secondly, the people living HIV have higher smoking rates, which is associated with higher rates of lung cancer, head and neck cancer, a variety of other cancer types. And thirdly, people with HIV are more likely to develop HPV-associated cancers because of the immunosuppression that may occur in the context of HIV infection. So many years ago, the National Cancer Institute recognized the neat challenges associated with managing and preventing cancers in people living with HIV and established a group called the AIDS Malignancy Consortium, also known as the AMC, a multi-center clinical trials group that's funded by the National Cancer Institute specifically to study the problem of cancer occurring in the context of HIV infection. For the past 14 years, I've served as the vice chair of the AMC, and I'm now moving into the position as the group chair. The researchers and the clinical care at Montefiore and Einstein is really uniquely suited to play a leadership role in this organization because of the expertise it has in the treatment of HIV infection. Einstein is one of a handful of centers funded by the NIH as a Center of Age Research, or a CIFAR. It's also a center that's funded by the National Cancer Institute specifically to do cancer research. The Bronx is a multi-racial, multi-ethnic community, a poor community, that has some of the highest rates of HIV infection in the country and because of that, a high cancer burden, even in, in individuals who don't have HIV infection. So we're particularly focused on trying to serve the needs of the community by, by not only providing high quality care for both their cancer and HIV infection, to do it in a multidisciplinary, coordinated, compassionate way, but also to really offer the latest research, the latest therapeutic advances in terms of preventing disease. And so we're looking forward to expand the reach of, of what we're already, I think, accomplishing in this community. The overarching goals of the AMC are to reduce the mortality and disability caused by cancer occurring in people living with HIV infection. And one example of that would be the ANCHOR trial. Investigators from the AMC are leading the first trial ever of its kind to screen people at high risk for anal dysplasia. This is a precancerous lesion to identify it and to treat it to see if we can prevent anal cancer from ever occurring in the first place. And then if we're successful, we'll establish a new paradigm for the screening and prevention of a potentially deadly form of cancer that afflicts not only people with HIV infection, but also people who don't have HIV infection. In the last five years, we've established new treatment paradigms for certain types of cancer, including treatments for Kaposi sarcoma and for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We've also demonstrated the safety of using some of the most modern therapies that are highly effective, specifically cancer immunotherapy. And that's important because one might assume that immunotherapy in an individual who has HIV infection whose immune system may not be perfectly intact may not benefit from that therapy. That's a huge advance and we plan to build on that. Secondly, we'll continue our efforts to develop screening strategies to identify patients at risk for a variety of cancer types such as CAT scans to screen for lung cancer. And we're also evaluating strategies to help people quit smoking that may be more effective than current strategies.